Hey everyone, my name is Tori and welcome to my channel. It's been a minute, it's been a minute. I am back with an empties video and this is literally like a, I think it's May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Is it a seven month empties? No way. Six month empties? Several month empties. Uh, it's been a while. I've been really busy. A lot of stuff has happened and I'm kind of getting settled into like a new life really. I'm gonna try to go as quickly as possible because there is a lot to talk about. So let's go ahead and get started. So first up are all of my Bath & Body Works shower gels. So I have four. First two are At The Beach and Grapefruit Frosé. These are both really great summertime fragrances. Grapefruit Frosé was like a soft grapefruit and At The Beach smelled kind of coconutty, really fresh. Just really good solid summer fragrances would definitely repurchase. Next up we have two, I feel like more fall time fragrances. We have Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte and Bonfire Bash. So Bonfire Bash was actually from a summer collection. The fragrance notes are vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. So it was very sweet, but kind of like a musky sweet. And I feel like it could work for like a warm summer fragrance, but it also transitioned really well into fall, would definitely repurchase. And then marshmallow pumpkin latte was pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallows, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. This is a very warm, sweet, uh, but almost a little masculine pumpkin fall fragrance. I love this one. I use it every year. And honestly, this year I only bought one and it was just enough. I used it throughout the fall season. And then as soon as I was done with it, it was time for a twisted peppermint. So the timing of that was perfect. I'm trying not to overbuy uh, as much as I used to, especially with Bath and Body Works. So this was the perfect amount for me. I missed one. <laughs> I also have another Bath and Body Works shower gel. This is berry waffle cone and this came out with the summer collection as well the fragrance notes are sweet summer berries golden waffle cone and creamy vanilla it really does smell like a waffle cone with a scoop of like berry sorbet it's very gourmand very sweet if you don't like like bakery fragrances you probably wouldn't like this one but if you do like a vanilla or even a caramel then this would be a really great option for you if you kind of want something a little different with the like the sweetness of the berries love this would definitely repurchase six hand soaps i'll do two at a time I feel like that would be best. First up, I have two Boardwalk Vanilla Cone, and this is one of my all-time favorites. I love this fragrance for year round, but it does come out in the summer. Fragrance notes are marshmallow fluff, vanilla bean, and creamy caramel. It just smells like a very sweet, delicious, bakery-esque vanilla. So good, but it's not, it's not overpowering. Like it's not super strong. I feel like it's a really sweet, but very soft, sweet, a very soft sweet. Love this one, would definitely repurchase. Next, I have Raspberry Tangerine and Almond Blossom. So these were ones I actually purchased because I feel like they just matched our house really well and I wanted something that was going to be a little more generic that I could use in like a guest bath or buy a sink wherever and it would just work for wherever I wanted to put it and it would match the house. So Almond Blossom is almond milk, coriander, and vanilla sugar. You really smell that almond. It's pretty sweet. I feel like this is the perfect, just kind of neutral fragrance that you could put anywhere and anyone who uses it would be fine with it. It's very strong though. Fragrance definitely lingers on your hands, which I don't mind because I like it, but definitely something to keep in mind if you have guests who are sensitive to fragrance. Probably not the best option then. Raspberry Tangerine is wild raspberries, fresh tangerine, and lemon zest. It really does smell exactly the way that it's described. Tangerine, lemon. It smells almost like a citrusy, fruity drink. Uh, it's very fresh. That's really it. It's just a very basic hand soap fragrance. Pretty solid. My last two are Strawberry Pound Cake and White Pumpkin. So Strawberry Pound Cake is from their regular line. The fragrance notes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. This fragrance is one of my all-time favorites from Bath & Body Works. I love it in every form that they make. It's very sweet with the whipped cream and the sugar and the vanilla, but it's also has that freshness with the strawberries to make it a little fruity. It's just such a nicely balanced fragrance and I absolutely love it. I would definitely repurchase it, especially in a hand soap. And then White Pumpkin actually came out this year for the fall, and the fragrance notes in here are gingered white pumpkin, caramel glaze, and warm blended spices. To be totally honest with you, I just really liked the packaging because it matched my house. It was just like the silver pumpkins, and the, the soap itself was almost like a gray color. I... Uh, it, it didn't smell great, honestly. It didn't smell bad, but it just was kind of weird. It was just kind of weird. It was like one of those weird white pumpkin candles at TJ Maxx. I've had one of those before and it was like, like it was one of those I really wanted to like it and I just, I just couldn't get there. It was just weird. There wasn't enough sweetness or there wasn't enough spice. It was like just this weird middle ground. I don't know how to describe this because I've never really smelled anything like it other than a TJ Maxx white pumpkin candle. 
yeah I have one more we're almost done with it as soon as we're done with that I probably wouldn't repurchase it just because I don't really love the fragrance but I do love the packaging all right we have two candles in here one is from Target and one is Bath and Body so this three wick from Bath and Body Works this is the fragrance berry waffle cone so this is the same fragrance as the body wash that I finished up same fragrance notes it's sweet summer berries golden waffle cone and creamy vanilla this smells so good. Wow. It smells so good. It's so, it's pretty strong though. So like if you do not like literally the smell of a waffle cone actively baking and sniffing berry sorbet at the same time, you're not going to like this at all. It's weird though, because I, I'm pretty sure I got a few of these during like a semi-annual sale a year ago, maybe. And there were a lot of them left over, which makes me think that it wasn't a very popular fragrance, which I disagree with because I like it, <laughs> but I feel like it probably wasn't very popular because I, I do think it's a very specific type of fragrance, especially if you don't like foodie or like gourmand fragrances, this is not it for you. But if you love walking down the boardwalk with your waffle cone, so good. It's pretty strong too. Not strong in like a disgusting way, but like strong in a ah, delicious way. I'd repurchase it. Next up is a Target candle. It's a big one. This is the 20 ounce Macintosh and Pumpkin. And you can see in this one, I still have like mm, just under half the candle left to burn. I actually stopped burning it because my husband doesn't like it. I don't know what happened. It's like he was fine with it. And then the longer and more often I burned it, he's like, I really don't like that. <laughs> so I stopped burning it. I have a friend who's going to take it off my hands because she loves this fragrance. It's actually where I smelled it for the first time was in her house last year. And I ended up getting it last year in like one of those amber glass jars that looked like a pumpkin. Oh, the packaging was so cute. I feel like it smells a little different though this year and I can't really put my finger on it, but I liked it better last year than I do this year. I still like it. Like when I smell it, I still like it. I don't know. It's very heavy on the apple and then like a pumpkin spice. So if you really love the fragrance of apples, like a spicy apple, this will be perfect for you. If you want like the quintessential fall fragrance with like a heavy, heavy apple, this is it which is weird because usually that is not my thing at all. I think it's because there was enough spice in this that I didn't feel like it was a purely apple fragrance. That's why I liked it. I'd repurchase it, but actually I probably won't because my husband doesn't like it. Man. All right, four CeraVe products. So I have two CeraVe daily moisturizing lotions and what can I say? I love these so much. I go through them like crazy. It's my favorite lotion. It's safe for sensitive skin. They're fragrance free. They have lots of great ingredients for your skin and then they, they're it's so moisturizing but it doesn't leave like a gross film sinks into your skin really quickly and I just I just love it it's just so good currently using another one right now will continue to repurchase probably forever if you have dry skin or sensitive skin would definitely recommend that or their cream like the thick hydrating cream love that too this is the CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser for normal to dry skin I like this cleanser and I also like the the one for oily skin, I don't know if it's called like the foaming one, it's like an aqua color. I love that one as well. This one I usually like to use in the morning when I first wake up because it doesn't, neither one of them strip your skin, but this one specifically, it comes out almost like a, like a lightweight lotion. It's definitely not a face wash I would use to like remove makeup or even like to double cleanse with just because I feel like it doesn't leave a film on your face. That's, that's not, that's not the word I want to use, but it definitely doesn't take makeup off. So I would use this on skin that doesn't have makeup on it. That's why I like to use it in the morning specifically. Leaves your skin super hydrated. Really, really nice. If you hear any weird like snorting or licking or sneezing, it's my pug, Leo. He's in the background. He's just like sitting on the bed, just snoring. So next is the CeraVe Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser. And this is really great if you have dry, sensitive skin that's also acne prone or even oily skin. But especially if you have dry skin, this is, you can use this without it stripping your skin, but it's still going to fight the acne. So if you have really dry skin and acne and you struggle to find a face wash that doesn't strip your skin, but still fights the acne, this is a really good choice for you. If you have oily skin, this is also good too. Really love this stuff. Have repurchased it several times. Oh, there's another CeraVe product. Of course, <laughs> this is the CeraVe ultralight moisturizing lotion with sunscreens for normal to oily skin. And it's SPF of 30. Pretty sure this is a mineral sunscreen, which is better for sensitive skin. It, it doesn't, I feel like I didn't really notice a white cast, but I'm also super fair, so I'm not really a great 
candidate for like noticing that kind of thing because typically sunscreens with white cast just blend right into my skin because I'm so fair. Uh, but for this one, I didn't have any issues with it. It didn't break me out. It was, didn't feel gross or weird. The only reason that I wouldn't repurchase it is just because I have a few other sunscreens that I like a little bit better. I don't know. I would repurchase it. It's just maybe not my favorite, but it's still good. I don't know. Eh. I prefer the Kylie Skin sunscreen to that one. You do have to reapply that one because it's not water resistant, but I really like the way that it just like blends seamlessly into my skin and it lays really well under makeup. I mean, this one does too, but that one does better. Yeah. So next is a Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Oil. I actually really liked this cleansing oil. I thought it did a pretty good job of removing my makeup and I usually would use like one to two pumps in the shower, like kind of gently massage it, wash it away, and then I would do double cleanse with the uh, CeraVe cleanser, the like foaming one for oily skin. And I feel like it did a really good job. This is definitely something I would repurchase. I think this might be my second one. I'm currently using another one that I actually like a little bit better and it's from Ulta. I think it's the brand, is it called DHC? Did I make that up? I don't know, it's a brand that I'd never heard of before, but I it was highly recommended and it had really great reviews, so I just wanted to give it a try. This is definitely something that I would repurchase, really enjoyed using it, and I uh, would definitely recommend it. I used up a pack of makeup wipes from Neutrogena. These are just like their classic makeup wipes. I don't really use makeup wipes anymore. The only reason I usually will keep like a pack on hand is for like, I don't know, just random occasions. like swatching things or um which I don't do that often but you know if I do I have it um I've also used it where I've like messed up my makeup and needed to like take my eye makeup off and redo it <laughs> um I've done that before mid getting ready and I've also used it like if I'm taking a bath and my makeup is still on and I don't want to use the cleansing oil because the mascara gets on the ring on the bathtub I'll use these very specific reasons <laughs> but other than that I really don't use these that often anymore I'm trying to reduce my like single use wipe makeup wipe it i've heard these aren't that good for you they tug on your skin and all that kind of stuff and it's also you know if you're using one to two of these every single day to like take your makeup off it's like it's a single use wipe and i say that but like i'm you still like and i've said this before but you're still using a plastic bottle with the cleansing oil and i'm still using a plastic bottle here a plastic bottle here it's like i don't how much of a difference am I really making? I don't know. I don't know, but baby steps, right? I guess. I don't use these as much anymore, but I do like to keep some on hand. That's the moral of the story. And they're fine. Next up, I have four hair products. First one is by Aussie. This is the Three Minute Miracle Moist Deep Conditioner. So I've actually used up a couple of these in the past. I really like this. I use it as a hair mask. I don't know if this is good for your hair, honestly. Um, if you read the ingredients, it has like a bunch of different types of alcohol. It's not a high-end product. That's fine. I think it works great. <laughs> it's really inexpensive and it makes my hair super soft and manageable and I really like it. I would repurchase it and I would continue to use it if I had it. I actually bought this because my hair started getting like super dry because we now live in a really dry climate, whereas we used to live somewhere super humid. So my hair and my skin has just been like adjusting and this was definitely something that helped my hair adjust to the dry climate so i would recommend it next up is the living proof perfect hair day dry shampoo so i actually really really like this and i really don't like how much i like it because it's expensive the only reason i have this is because one of my really good friends does my hair or she used to when i lived in the same city as her but she can get me products at a very discounted rate so she was like hey here's this new dry shampoo try it out and i was like great and i used it and i'm like wow this is really good. And then I looked it up how much it costs and I was like, mm, great. <laughs> I usually use the Batiste dry shampoo, like the really big bottle you can get for $8 at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. So good. I still love that dry shampoo, but if I could choose, I would probably choose this one over the Batiste. But if I couldn't get this at a severely discounted rate or free from her, then I would go Batiste. Yeah. I love this dry shampoo because it smells really good. It leaves a little bit of a white cast that you can kind of brush out. But I have blonde hair, which like lately I actually got it to be a little bit darker. It's like a dark blonde, but it's still pretty light. So that's not really an issue for me, but this works so, so well. It makes your hair look and feel clean. It gives it a little bit of texture, but it's not gross. It's just so good. Oh, uh, I'm so annoyed. It's a really good product. I'm continually using it because she brought me another bottle when she came to visit. Speaking of things my friend gives me, this is Living Proof, the shampoo and the conditioner. It's called the Full 
I guess just called full, full shampoo, full conditioner. So uh, she gave me these two and then she also brought me like two big jugs with pumps on them. Solid. She's like the real MVP y'all for my hair. <laughs> I really, really like Living Proof shampoo and conditioner. I just think it's, it's just so good. It's a, it smells good. It's good for your hair. It's got good ingredients in it. It's not going to like, especially if you've color treated hair, it's not going to like mess up your color. It's just, it's a really solid hair care line. Um, I don't necessarily think that you have to, that you have to buy high end hair care. I just don't, I don't know. I'm not a hairstylist, so I know nothing about hair. I don't know anything, but I don't think that you have to like buy expensive things for your hair to look good and for it to be healthy. Maybe I'm wrong, but I do really like these. I will continue to reuse them and I will continue to repurchase them as long as I can get them through my friend. That's just, it is what it is, y'all. It is what it is. If I didn't have this, I would be using the Herbal Essence Moisture line. It's like the blue. Oh, it smells so good. Next up is a hand cream. Well, it's not a hand cream. It's a body cream, but I use it as a hand cream. This is from Bath and Body Works and this is in the fragrance Snowflakes and Cashmere. This smells so good. Weirdly good because I didn't think that this would be something I'd like, but I got it for Christmas like two years ago in a full size. And I really liked the way that it smelled on me specifically. Um, so I ended up buying another bottle of it. it. The fragrance notes are not listed on this. It smells pretty perfumey. It's really light. I don't really know how to describe it, honestly. It's sweet, but it's it's unlike anything I've ever smelled before, uh, which is why I can't describe it. I don't know what the notes are, but um, this is one of my favorites. It comes out during the winter season, so I do like to repurchase it then. I didn't get one this year because I am trying a different fragrance. I like to get the body cream and use it as a hand cream, mostly because, well, I like the formula, but also because this, like, the flip cap, you know, they're doing, oh, this is perfect, actually. Great comparison. My other empty, this is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, and this is their whipped hand cream. So the packaging is a little bit different, right? It's got this, like, twist top on it. I don't like this twist top because <laughs> you have to like twist it, which is annoying. And then it, you have to set it aside and then squeeze it out. And then you got to twist. It's hard. See, look, it's hard. It's not that serious. I just don't really like it. <laughs> I would just prefer the flip top. And I like the formula of the body cream better than this new whipped hand cream. I guess it's a little more white, like lightweight hence the word like whipped, I guess, but it just, it feels weird on my hands. Like it doesn't feel, it feels moisturizing, but it feels like a weird film to me. I'm really weird with textures though. So it just wasn't my thing. Wasn't for me. From here on out, I'm not going to do this, these hand creams anymore. Honestly, I picked this one up because I'm pretty sure I had a coupon and I got it for free. So there's that. Wouldn't repurchase the hand cream, but I would repurchase this fragrance in the body cream travel size as a hand cream. You get it. Ah, I have another hand cream. This is before they changed the formula. So this was actually pretty good. This is in Strawberry Pound Cake. So this is one of my favorite fragrances. We've already talked about this. It's sweet vanilla. It's fresh fruity strawberry. It's so good. Don't love the packaging. You know this, but really liked this formula before they changed it to the whipped hand cream. So that's unfortunate. Hand sanitizer. This is also from Bath and Body Works. And this is Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. So this is the same fragrance as those uh, hand soaps I talked about earlier. Um, the fragrance notes are marshmallow, vanilla, and caramel. So it's just really sweet. It just smells so good. It's delicious. I love it. We have four mascaras. <laughs> uh, so I like to layer mascara. I talk about this all the time. These are the same mascaras you've seen a million and 10 times. So I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise and the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift. These mascaras are pretty similar to each other. Uh, the wands are quite similar. They're like a really big natural hair bristle, bristle brush. That's hard to say. Um, I'll do this layer first. I prefer the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, but honestly, at this point, they're kind of interchangeable to me. Um, I'll do a layer of this first, and then I will do a layer of the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. These are my, they're my favorite. I love this wand because it's plastic and it's round and it has these little like spikes you gotta be careful though, she could really like poke yourself in the eye, but it does a really great job of separating, like really lifting up the lashes. So I feel like I get the volume with that first layer and then the lift with the second layer. Three brow pencils. All three of these are from e.l.f. So two of them are the Instant Lift Brow Pencil. And this is the one that you're probably like most used to seeing. I use these up constantly. I go through at least once a month or like once every two months, depending on how often I'm wearing makeup. I get mine in the shade taupe. It has the spoolie on one end and then it's got kind of a thicker 
You can't see because I think it broke off, but it's like a thicker crayon on the other crayon. I don't know. On the other end. Um, I really like these. I actually don't think I liked them as much when I first tried them. Um, I had a little bit of a learning curve because it's just thicker and I was used to using the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Brow Wiz with like the really precise microfine pencil. Um, so I had to kind of get used to it, but I really like it and they're like two to three dollars and you just can't beat that. You know, though I wanted to try something new. This one is a little bit more expensive than the instant brow lift pencil. This is called, this is from e.l.f. It's the ultra precise brow pencil. So this is literally like a Anastasia Beverly Hills micro brow, brow whiz type pencil. So you can see there, it's a really precise micro pencil. I, I liked it. I didn't love it though. It, I don't know if it's because I'm now I'm just used to using the thicker marker crayon thing, but I just, it just wasn't my favorite. Um, I really can't put my finger on why. I would definitely repurchase it. Okay, my phone ran out of memory, but we're back. <laughs> All right, uh, we were talking about brow pencils, right? Would repurchase. I actually tried a lash primer. I got these samples from Chanel. <laughs> um, it's a mascara and a primer. I don't, yeah. It, the primer was actually, I think it's called La Base. La Base Mascara. Um, it's like a rubber bristle wand and the primer is white. I actually really like this, unfortunately. Um, I will not be purchasing that because it's like 30 something dollars for a lash primer. So we're not doing that, but it's fine. Um, and then, no, this, yeah, this is just another lash primer. I thought it was a mascara, but yeah, I used up two sample sizes of it. I really liked it, unfortunately. So um, maybe one day that will be my journey, but for now I'm gonna stick to my Maybelline and L'Oreal mascara. It's just as good and half the price for two mascaras. Do you hear snorting? Here he is. This is Leo. So if you hear any snorting or snoring, it's him. All right, next up, I have the Physician's Formula Eyeliner. This is called, it has a long name. It's a three-in-one lash boosting liquid eyeliner, something or another. This is the waterproof version. I actually like this one better than the regular version. I feel like this is blacker, like darker blacker. Um, it is waterproof, so it's a little bit harder to take off, but it's not that bad with like a cleansing oil. It's a brush tip liner, super easy to apply. You get a lot of control with it. And yeah, it's super black. It's very liquidy, but in a good way. It doesn't bleed like the NYX Epic Ink Liner does. The only reason I wouldn't repurchase this is because I think I may have found one that I like better. I'm not sure yet, but I think I did. But other than that, would repurchase. Specifically the waterproof though. Next is a primer and the, the words have rubbed off on this. So I've used it, I used it up. This is the Tarte, I think it's the poreless, something, something about being matte. I don't know, literally all the words are gone off the front and the back, so I don't know. Um, but it does fill in your, your pores. It's like a, it's a silicone type primer. So it comes out clear and silicone-y and then I just always put it like right in my T-zone. I actually think I used this exact primer on my wedding day. Which was kind of a long time ago and I'm embarrassed to admit that. I'm sorry, he's walking around. I have like all of the empties I talked about just like laying on the floor and he's smelling all of them and walking through them and you look so cute right now. Hi. Yes, I'm wearing Christmas pug pajama pants. It's fine. All right, next we have a number seven translucent perfect light pressed powder. I think it's translucent, right? So I think there's only one shade. I'm really not sure. I know they have another powder that's in a silver packaging that people say is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury powder, but I thought it was this one. So I bought this one thinking it was that one, but it's fine. It, I loved this clearly. I used this to set my under eye and I also used it to set my entire face and absolutely loved it. I would definitely repurchase this. It does a great job of smoothing the skin. It's hydrating. It's, it's just all the things. It's all the things that look so good. I would highly recommend this if you haven't tried it. Two concealers. All right, we have the Tarte Shape Tape, the original in the shade Fair Neutral. So I love this concealer. The only reason I would not repurchase it now, I've been through several. The only reason I wouldn't buy it again is because it leaks. Um, so you can see right there, you see how it's like all kind of coming out of the cap. I tried everything. I would wipe it off before I would close it. I don't know, I would store it standing up. It just, it would just leak. I don't know what's up with that. The past couple that I've had, including the new, like the creamy version that I bought recently, um, that one is also leaking. So I don't know if this is like a weird packaging thing because I've had several before this and hadn't ever had that issue before. So, so I think because of that, I'm not going to repurchase it. I also have the Makeup Revolution 
conceal and define. I didn't use this completely up, I think because it just, it started to go bad. I've had this for a while. This is in the shade C8. This is like my self tan shade. I would use this to mix in with other lighter concealers to make them a little bit darker when I was self tanned. I really like this formula. It's, it's creamy, it's hydrating, but it's definitely pretty full coverage. I would say it's, it's a little bit lighter weight than the Tarte Shape Tape, but you get a similar coverage. So if you haven't tried this, I would definitely check it out. It's a great price point and they have so many shades. So my last product in here is the Dior Lip Maximizer in the shade 001. So this was that like light pink, almost kind of clear. When you put it on, it looks clear color. I love this lip gloss and it gives you a little bit of plumping, but not too much. It doesn't like, it tingles a little bit, but it's not bad. It just makes your lips look so juicy and glossy and delicious and it's just it's just a good formula it's not sticky it smells good it's just all the things right this was definitely kind of kind of an impulse purchase for me when i bought it i don't know if i bought it with 20 percent off or not i think this lip gloss is like is it 30 dollars? is it 35 dollars? it's expensive it's a i mean it's a luxury brand right it was just always something that i just thought was too expensive um i still think it's you know it's still expensive but i do love it and i have repurchased it <laughs> I actually got it this time in the shade Rosewood and I want to try it in the shade Raspberry. I want this shade. I would love to have all the shades. That would just be so cool. It's just such the perfect purse lip gloss. Um, it's just so flattering. It makes my lips look just healthy and juicy and I just love it. I love this gloss. I would highly recommend it if you were thinking about getting it. It does go on sale sometimes at Nordstrom. I have seen it marked down there. I think the only way I would buy this again is if I did buy it with like a 20% off. It's just like, oh. So expensive but it's so good all right well that's all i have for this empties video thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye